most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. Dan, good to see you. Great to see you, my friend. It's been a very nice week so far. We keep delivering good news day after day, and this goes back to the weekend. Remember how yeah. nice that was, and I feel like each day has almost gotten just a little bit better. It we've feels been, like summer. We have been spoiled this October. We certainly have. Now, this is a month similar to March. So on the flip side of things, remember moving into spring, how finicky March can be. October also experiences big swings. So I think many of us are saying, all right, what's next? What's coming? And there is a cool down coming, but even that shouldn't be too hard to take. Here's a live view of Duncannon. Just seeing, again, fair weather clouds. Not a whole lot going on. A lot of blue sky. We move farther south along the river. Here's Wrightsville, the John Wright restaurant, and everything just kind of still and serene out there. This is fabulous. Now looking at our visible satellite picture, we started out early this morning with some patches of fog across the valleys. Those have since been eliminated thanks to all this sunshine. You get the evaporation going and poof, there goes the fog. But temperatures right now near 80 degrees and check out Carlisle and Chambersburg. The Cumberland Valley the last two days has warmed up the fastest. Once again, overachieving a little bit there in the temperature department. The one thing you will notice might be a good day to run the AC because if you leave the windows open for too long, there is some moisture in the air. Not saying it's overly humid, but certainly more than there has been over the last couple of days. And air conditioning certainly helps remove that from the air in your home. Temperatures today will likely be right at their highs from yesterday, near 82 degrees. No records being set. The record's still 88. So we need to get closer to 90 to see those types of record numbers. By the way, we are getting into the time of the year that frosts do become more and more common. That record low of 31 degrees shows it can happen this time of the year, but not the case here tonight and not the case in the near future. Temperatures will be dropping into the 70s this evening. Still a great time to be outside, but keep in mind tonight some 50s are possible, whereas we've been seeing more 60s the past few nights. High pressure last week of Ada. We keep saying this is the holdout right now, but the next front not super impressive at this time. And it's really the front plus one other feature that we're tracking, and that's Tropical Storm Philippe. I mentioned yesterday, still relatively weak storm, but it is moving farther to the north, and the latest computer model projections don't bring it into our neck of the woods, but it's close enough that we could see a little bit more moisture coming from it, perhaps by Sunday and Monday, and it would just be kind of lingering clouds, maybe a couple of showers, but this track, and we've already done this before, we were talking about Ophelia, unfortunately, bringing some showers into parts of New England. Once again, it's been some periods of heavy rain for parts of New England, but for us locally, that has not been the case as we see locally that not much is going on through tomorrow. James, another nice day. So we look at the seven day forecast. Keep in mind today, tomorrow, warm, pleasant, not seeing too many changes there. It's Friday and Saturday, some additional clouds, a little bit of moisture. As I mentioned, Philippe could throw more clouds our way by Sunday and Monday, depending on the track, but either way, 50s by Sunday and Monday for highs, not Ooh. lows for highs. The change is coming. The change is coming. So I mentioned we tend to see that flip happen. It will mm -hmm. happen by the time we get to the end of the weekend. All right, Dan, thank you very much. Sure. Up next, the auto.